Hey everyone. So, it is I, that bitch from around the block, Jenny, Jenny with the, wait, walk, walk, because I almost said something else, and I'm not trying to. As long as you mention the name of weapons, YouTube will not frown down upon you. How are you all doing today, Collective? I'm going to be, um, so I decided to change my mind. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a spread for what's to come with the, uh, Lunar Eclipse and Capricorn. The full moon lunar eclipse in Capricorn. Coming up Tuesday, which is the 16th, I believe. But I'm going to go back and do um, what everybody got from Cancer's um, solar moon. So I'm ass backwards, but I'm getting there. This is coming up, and I always miss the other ones because I never pay attention to when the moon's what. But I got a paper now, so all I have to do is hang it up and I'll remember. <laughs> but I'm going to lay out some cards for us. I'm just going to lay cards out because, like, I really don't have a spread for, like, this. It's just kind of like, mm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to lay them out. Let's call some shit out. And we'll go from there. See what the cards tell us about what people will be... Let's see. What will be... Well, what, just what this um, lunar eclipse is going to bring out. It's in Capricorn, and people say that it's powerful, and I'm a Capricorn, so it's like, cool, I'm powerful. It makes you feel awesome. Surprisingly enough, in the Vedic, um, Zodiac or whatever the fuck it is, like, I'm actually a Sagittarius, but I'd rather be a Capricorn. <laughs> it just feels better. I feel like if I'm Vedic, it's when I'm in, like, my black side. My angry side. Right? Plus, I got Sagittarius rising. I think that makes up for it more than anything, honestly. Okay, so let's see. What is... Hmm. I've never really tried just laying out and calling shit, so forgive me. Um, let's see what's up with the full moon for everybody. What might be stirred? Love. Options. Risky shit that might, you know, fuck somebody up. Waiting for shit to happen. Waiting for that message. Maybe something from the past. Hmm, let me look at this. I feel like... Someone had love... Oh, that... Oh, shit. Hold on. This card was in another deck. I have to do this over. Like, it's a nosies. And, like, you don't shuffle a deck and lay them out if not all the cards are there. Like, that's a nosies. But that's just me. Like, so my apologies for that. Let's try again. I don't know why. It just feels like it's not accurate if it's like that. Like, if I miss a card, no. Like, I tried doing this a little bit ago, and, like, I guess I forgot to, like, check to make sure. Why are you rubbing against my toes? Oh, why are you rubbing my toes? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Maybe. You a girl, yes. Oh. Now you're just losing your shit. Eesh. Okay, sorry, I had to pet the kitten. Alright, let's do this again more properly, right? Great. Okay. Full moon shit. Ten of pentacles. Two of wands. Six of wands. Moon reverse. And look at that. There's a moon. Could be Pisces. Could be Cancer. Um. Some. Okay. This feels way better now. Alright. That's why I didn't make any sense before. This looks way more better. Okay. So. I feel like someone's really choosing between a family who absolutely just doesn't, I feel like, have any value for them and going somewhere where people will. Like being a victor or being a fucking servant. It has something to do with coming out of these illusions, these secrets with emotions that has kept somebody very, very, uh, 
indecisive. Like, do they want to keep crying about it, or do they want to do something about it kind of shit, you know? Like, some of y'all might have been dealing with this, and the moon might be revealing those secrets to you, or to somebody you're dealing with, right? It's just kind of like, why do I let all these people play games on me, man? Like, I put up with so much... You know, like, I literally make up the table that they fucking play the games on. They can't even hand me a cookie, you know? It, but over here, it's like, people would, like... I almost worship someone, I feel like. And I'm not sure. Um, indecisive dude, he's looking over here, but he hasn't moved from this position yet. So you guys might be looking for that stuff. Might be sifting through that kind of vibe the tide of course as well let's see this ten of wands what is about this ten of wands over here not ten of wands ten of pentacles damn it I'd almost be good if I knew what, what was going to come out of my mouth before it did I swear like I know what I was trying to say and it didn't work Ten of Pentacles, what's that all about? Lack of communication, possibly lack of connecting with their spirit. Like, you know, bitch is just pouring water into the pond, trying to get be like, you know, like, oh, magical guides that are above me, why is this the holy of them all? Will you please appear to me? And like, as she's praying, dude just standing there like, I'm right here. Open your eyes, hello? Hello? But she can't hear him because she's too busy, like, talking. It's like a lack of connection somewhere. And, you know, someone might have felt prosperous, but it's like... A lot of, like, occupation. A lot of, um, you know, feeling like fate is turned against some. Right? Capricorn and Taurus is card both. Someone might be using things from their childhood past, keys from back in the day to figure out what might be the right or righteous thing to do. Maybe trying to fix a situation with some sort of counseling or actually like turning their backs towards like the negative to try to go towards more of the light right here. Because the light is peering in with the devil and everybody else. It's like someone's coming in to save them. Yeah. Both of them looking in a different direction, really. Um, someone could have, like, been dealing with a separation. Someone turned their back while the other one ran away. This one's like, you know what? I, I don't even care. Just go. Just go. J just go. You go do whatever you want to do. And the other person was like, well, fine. I will. <laughs> you know? Something in between there with the separation. Could be your divines, could be your twins, could be just anybody. Just pick whoever it is you want. Okay, this six of wands right here. What is up with this victory? Because I feel like this is more about like someone needs to move if they want to get this victory, not stay in the place where they're at where they feel like they're just everybody's like footstool, walked over, used for whatever. Right? <laughs> Someone feels like there was an offer that could have been made. Or an offer can be made. Maybe it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo here. But back in the day, it was a very tentative offer. And, and it was given in. Because someone was definitely not sure about a leap of faith they wanted to take. Like, the investment was put in there, it's just someone's kind of in the dark. Doesn't know if they can take the leap of faith with all of this, right? Well, not that they can't, it's just they're still very, very nervous about it. So this two of wands reversed. Why is somebody indecisive? I think failure. Well, not even failure, it's just... No one to, um, no one to go to battle with, or no one to go to battle with on their side, you know, because everybody's playing games on their back, 
or everyone has been playing games in their bag. Like, this is the illusions and secrets that are coming out to help somebody figure things out. Like, this boat sailing, and it looks like towards, like, this way, where it looks like home, just because of sentimental value. Four of Cups right here. Like, someone feels like they can't fight things. This illusions with the moon. It could be Pisces, could be Cancer. Something came out with the moon, so what was it? There's a Queen of Pentacles. Look at her, all cute and shit. Who will fight way meaner back to you. There could be a, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You might come in for like hostile words. Could be a Queen of Pentacles or just someone there who's a motherly figure who's like just chilling with a bird and her antler crown and someone just might run up and just be like, you know what? Your antler crown looks like it's just nothing but a bunch of fucking twigs from an elm tree. And she's just like, oh, these are mahogany branches. How dare you? And then she just starts throwing down. <laughs> And secret feelings of the self, like, hmm, what's this? This is odd. Because, like, Nine of Pentacles, this version of it, I would feel like someone's very in tune with who they are, their emotions, what they feel. It's like... She's basking in the moon, and that's going to be coming up, you know. Like we, we're like the like we're literally doing a full moon eclipse reading, you know. And it's like we're the queen of the queen of pentacles here is because this is Capricorn's card, but this one's like someone's mouthy, someone's mouthy. Like they want to disturb disturb peace. I feel like someone might. I feel like there's need, a need to approach somebody who's pretty, like, not even an earth sign, just pretty well off, pretty well peaceful, like, she's got a fucking bird train, damn it, it's a hawk at that, she can call him Tommy Hawk, you know, it's Tommy Hawk, someone's coming at her and Tommy Hawk, disturbing her peace, but I feel like they're gonna uh, talk about what's going on in them, this might be revealed to you, what else about these secrets, what about this queen of pentacles? What's up with her? Um. Okay, one more. Because, like, what? Oh, okay. Um. Still slightly confused, but, you know, that's okay. Um, there's a queen of... There's a king of cups here. Who's, like... I feel like... They want to come apologize, but they're doing it with a thousand yard stare kind of deal. Like he's just standing there staring, just blank face, like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Like someone might come to deal an apology to her, but do so in like the really most like Napoleon Dynamite kind of fashion. Like, but Napoleon Dynamite after high school, like he got a job, but it's a job as a barber. That needs to be a fucking movie. And Pedro can work at a strip bar as a bouncer. That'd be awesome. Okay, this Page of Swords, right? Not Page of Swords. Um, Knight of Swords. That's who this is. Wait, no. This is Page of Swords. Yeah, this is Page of Swords. Someone... Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, this is the Page of Swords. I always mix him and the Knight up. I don't know why. But yeah, this is the Page of Swords. This is Snoopin. So this Queen of Pentacles, whoever this is, could be having somebody trying to sneak up on him. And either she and this, or, and or this person, but I feel like it's more like her. She's just gonna have the thousand yard stare when this person comes in, like, I think not even expecting it because they're coming up behind her. Alright, this page of swords reverse, this is like a snoop, a spy. And not in the, like, at least just gather information way, but more like, uh The spy might want to come out as the queen of swords, but it, it, it's still a page. Or it looks like a page. 
But it's a Queen of Swords once, you know, you sit there and listen to them, I think, uh, when they start, like, you know, okay, you know that meme where it's that chick from, like, the Real Housewives of, like, New Jersey or some shit, and a cat that looks confused <laughs> sitting at a table? Like, this is kind of what it is. It's like this person's screaming, and this person's just sitting there kind of confused, like, uh, oh, okay. Uh, that might be how something comes out for some of y'all. Now this person might want to lay down some knowledge. You know, they might come off erratic and immature, but they're actually saying some pretty legit stuff. Um, but they don't, but it's like they don't want to move forward with passion either. Like both stunted, right? Nine of Pentacles. What's up with Nine of Pentacles? Strength reverse. It's like shadow side shit, right? It could be a Leo. It could be somebody who has a hard time doing a lot of restrictions or they restrict themselves. And, okay, like... Yeah, I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is chilling. This dude comes up here disturbing her peace, but to relay, like, messages about themselves under this moon shit, right? And it's like, yeah, they snuck away. Or maybe they want to come apologize or some shit like that, but it's like... It's almost like they're vocalizing that they wanted to do something or administer some side of cutting out. They just didn't have the passion because it felt like they were restricted in some sort of home setting or some shit once again the ten of pentacles it's, it's like they were it's like somebody or some people are revealing that like their home has kept them like restricted in a place where they did not want to be anymore now when we go back up into this row what will someone do once this information will be revealed it's like they've been stuck in some shit and they're really pissed because like it's also their security and it's like it's over It's like someone's stuck in place and they are mourning a cup that did not come to them because it was a security blanket for them. It was, you know, um, the twin flame runner chaser bullshit, right? That people go with now. I, I'm, people do believe that they have twin flames or whatever you want to call it. I, I totally believe in soulmates. I do. I think you can have multiple. Twin Flames is different for me because it's just like, you know, it's the chase that keeps you feeling secure. You know, it gives, you yourself, it gives your mind something to occupy itself with. Some dream or a vision to believe that someone... I don't know. For me, it's just kind of like... Once these secrets come out, it almost seems like it'll be over for somebody. Like... This was, was the one thing that kept me feeling good. Now, with the Six of Wands row, with this victory. A lot of balance will come in. Um, but I feel like there won't, still won't be any leap forward. And whatever was put in was just bad. Or was just looked at like unacceptable or... Or they're just it's still they're still giving over to this point in the center where they're still indecisive about what to do. It's like they there's like they like it's like someone understands that there's fairness at play or how fairness was played out. And it's like you know what I don't want to take the sleep of faith. So here here here's a L that I'm taking. I give it to you, right? Or they're giving shit to people, because, like, Page of Pentacles, like, it sometimes deals with how you interact with people as well. I feel like... Okay, let's say this is a work situation, right? This is management. These people get more from them 
but you don't because you seem like you have a chip on your shoulder and you need to do more work but it's like it almost makes you be like I don't want to take leave of faith to this shit either like fuck this I'll just give them an attitude you know I'll give them shit they don't want <laughs> it's like you don't it's like on this side with this victory it's like someone uh, understands with the moon that they don't like anybody. <laughs> Let's see. All right, this here, this indecisiveness, what comes out with the full moon, nothing's working out. It's like an endless cycle almost. There needs to be time to heal from somebody who was supposed to be whatever, a provider of sorts, but not really. Someone could also be acting like a debt collector, and they feel like their dues are needed. Someone needs to pay that shit from this over here where they've been being like really the support for all of this kind of shit I feel like someone is definitely looking at that like mm, I need some restitution okay this is part of the discovery with the ah I'm gonna tear up my cards Maybe. so let's see That might be what some of y'all are dealing with. I don't think that's the whole story, though. So, ah, I'm just dropping things into my lap everywhere. It's terrible. Terrible Tommy Hawk. <laughs> All right, little, let's see. Let's see, how are some of you guys going to handle this whole thing? What's the worst and what's the best that could come out with this? That was a lot of cards. Only asked two. Wish fulfillment someone really didn't want and shit that's not exactly ending the way it's supposed to. Ew. Lucky. I feel like whatever it is on this side... It's like, what e won't end is like bad karma, bad shit, like bad judgment calls, bad legalese that someone has to like really try to work hard on. And on this side, it's like someone's got a wish fulfillment of like being ready to go. Like, look, she's ready for her little forest ball. ball. The Queen of Wands is Leah Sag Aries, right? But she's impatient as fuck. It's like, you know, the best case scenario is like you're you're gonna get your wish. Um, hubris is, is like, you know, you're you're going to be very possibly stuck up. I feel like there's no mesh anywhere. Your compass might be bent a little bit. Worst case scenario, you're still gonna have to work through a lot of your fucking karmic shit. Right? Actually, yeah, I do wanna look at this. <coughs> What might some of this karmic shit be, by chance, that someone needs to work on? That just won't fucking end? What's the best way of ending that, you know? Fucking listen to your intuition about what's going on with either relationship, home, marriage, completions, twins, could be Gemini. Look for a reason to stick around in that. They, I think someone needs to work through their shit before they can go home. Their intuition's telling them to go fuck home. And I think they want to go the fuck home. But they're trying to make an offer over here to something better. Let's see. Could also be an earth sign with a slow moving offer they're trying to go towards too. On the more better side, of course. Uh, this is like at a crossroads. This is like someone's about to step into their destiny. Heal from some shit, right? Some bad karma that left a bad taste in their mouth. Hmm. And they're looking over at this person like, what the fuck do you want with that? What are you giving me? What? What is that? Hey, it took me a while to get this. Okay, and, you know. It's almost like two people dealing with each other. Hmm. 
not trying to make it that way, but it, but that seems like the best scenario. Okay, let's go over three cards with each sign. So Aries, you're up first. We'll go over you. Let's see what you're going to be dealing with for your lunar, right? What messages can we have for Aries when it comes to this full moon lunar eclipse? Mm. I feel like let the shit go because it's over. Someone got done got caught well, in the midst of like all of the questions about the separation and shit. Like, almost like things didn't work out, you know? Someone might be still mourning and thinking that, like, you know, there might be a chance with this relationship. But it's like, no, like, it, 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 gets, it gets all jacked up before it even gets started. Or whoever was supposed to be coming with an apology or some sort of trying to talk to you, like, you know, they, they'd rather just let shit die with a skull up here than, like, actually go back to do anything. Taurus, what three cards do we get for you? something that won't die. Something didn't work out in the past, kept you feeling trapped, and it felt like nothing would end. But whatever you were working on now is not working as well. In fact, you're not focused on it. Whatever's being worked on won't work because you're trying to escape this dead um, resurrection right here. It's like, um, it's too vapid for you. It's too much. You want to go somewhere else with the fucking cup, you know? Gemini, what's yours? What kind of messages do we have for Gemini? Three cards, please. you are kind of going towards fighting a disaster with someone I feel like whose feelings you just don't know about like it looks like you might have an idea but it's dark so it's just like you never really know you don't could be a water sign Cancer Pisces Scorpio could be Leo Sag Aries but definitely, it's like it feels like you're going into disaster, but you're preparing yourself. Um, might not be anybody to fight though, so you just go back and like don't even fucking worry about it, because it's like you know, eh, like you don't find anybody there. Nobody to help you fight. No, wait, it's more like, um, you feel like there's a disaster trying to go to fight this and try to figure out this person. So it's like, da da, because you can't see what the fuck is up with them. Like, look at this. They got their, um, <clears throat> it's daytime and you can see that they got their back turned. When it's nighttime, you really don't know what the hell they're feeling. <clears throat> so you might just be slightly confused. You feel like it's all empty over here, you know? Like, a lot of insecurities that you think are empty and just don't want to engage in. Cancer. I hope you're going to do well. Let's see what three cards are for you. Because the moon's going to be in your opposite. I can only imagine... I, don't, I have no idea how the moon actually affects you guys now that I think about it. I know it, it, it's your ruling planet and it deals with your moods and shit. Other than that, I really don't know. Oh, you get four, but I'll give you four. Fuck it. Hmm. Might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um. 
Were you the ones who I was asking if someone was cheating on you or something? It's like, here you could be, but you could also be here too. Here's a big ass crab. That's not the ocean, that's your tears. <laughs> I'm joking. It is it, your tears. Um, secrets came out and they probably made you cry. Like, you might have offered your cup, and, like, when these secrets came up, they just made you cry your little eyes out. And I feel like it made you realize, almost, with this moon, that you are incompatible with somebody else. And it's like an empty fight for you. It's like you don't have the energy to fight them. You know, because they got a volcano behind them, and it's just like they got a lot of rage. Could be a Sagittarius, for sure. Uh, <laughs> damn. Um, lots of impatience, lots of no communicating, lots of, like, not dealing with each other. Could be mistress involved here, too, who just happened to pop up. It's what's got you turning your back to it when it comes to this. Like, you just, you, you just feel like love isn't there. You, you feel like love is just fucked. Like, this relationship is just not what you thought it was. Leo, what three me card message do we have for you for the lunar... Full moon eclipse in Capricorn. What will be revealed and what messages will you get? Oh, you want to invest something in a business? Possibly. Being very, very. Ooh, I like it. Leo, I like that. Now, somebody, somebody might not be able to work with you on this, but I like this. Um, investments. Being very, very decisive. Um, knowing how to battle, you know? Being clear with what you'll actually fight for, what you will stand up for. Definitely wanting to bring some sort of fulfillment into the home from that business setting. Um, turning your back to what it is that you feel will not actually serve you. Like, ooh, I like this Leo, look at you. A lot of air, though. Like, you'll turn your back to what is illogical, but you'll definitely fight if you need to. And I like that. A lot. Like, very much so. What, but like I said, there might be somebody who you might not have um, the ability to work or cooperate with. Or maybe it feels like things aren't coming together the way they're supposed to. But I think you got I think you're going to do good. Alright, who's next? Virgo. What's your three cards message? What is Virgo's three card message, please? Mmm, Virgo. What the hell? Virgo, what is this? Okay, what are you doing? What was revealed to you, man? It's like dreams of something far away with somebody. Someone might have been a tad bit selfish with what they had control over, and it's like someone's observing that. This world scenario right here, like... It's almost like someone needs to figure out what needs to be fair in this relationship that you're dealing with right here. Obviously, love on the brain, right? There's somebody there for you. It's just going to take some time to actually figure out some fairness in order to get to where you're nice and old and gray and can hold both worlds in view. I think almost like learning how to control that whole um, control freak aspect of yourself. Like it looked pretty warm, looked cool to be like, I hold everything in my hands. But it's like you're kind of going to take a step back and be like, okay, this is just a small world. The rest of the world is out here. But while the rest of the world's out here, you know, you're still kind of like looking for romance, I think. Libra, we're getting your three card message. Let's see what the cards have for you for the eclipse coming up. I have no idea how long I've been recording, but it's whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's see what three cards I pulled for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
There is a Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. These two gotta be first, after all. Okay. Um. Someone has their back turned. And it could be somebody might be like Empress, Mother, you know. Not really paying attention. Might be taking a leap of faith in the dark, too. But there is a Queen of Pentacles here. Someone might be a motherly figure who's a little bit bitter. A little bit the man. She's got her back turned, though, so you really can't see what she's doing. But it's like she has her back turned to these Seven of Pentacles that have just started rotting on the tree. Like, you know, all this fruit have grown and, like, it's going to die a horrible death. And then we got, like, the Nine of Pentacles coming here riding in with, like, something. Something of value to these Seven of Pentacles. Right? But it's like... Ew. It's like you'd rather just ride away because it's like you think that... Like you're dealing... Possibly dealing with a mother figure who's just going to be mean. Someone who's demanding. An unfaithful spouse, maybe, that just makes these pentacles rotting even more sad. It's like he's got a sad look on his face like... Mm -hmm. You know? Aww. You guys, you shouldn't be that way. Maybe you feel like um, you can't deliver this to her because it's too late. I say, it's never too late to deliver anything. Like, the worst that could happen is someone says return to sender. Might as well try. I don't know, man. It's like... I don't know. Like, is this you? Or is this someone you're dealing with? I don't know. But, let's see what's up for Scorpio. Scorpio, what's your three-card spread? Okay. Well, that was quick. Um, you're not trying to engage in any sort of battling. You got a world focused on that you're trying to steal away from. You got a lot of impatience right here. Like, you're definitely revving the go. I feel like you're ready to stab people. You're just waiting for them to come to you. Because when you do, ba bam I'm going to stab you. Hmm. Hold on now. It's like something was stolen from you, or from your grave. And it's like you're ready to battle because you looked it over and you just like, you know what, this motherfucker right here, I just figured out what the fuck they did and I'm gonna fuck them up. Lack of patience right here. Could be dealing with Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, like, it's like you guys are like, taking your time, examining over this little world that you have, like, a, just a piece of it, and then like, looking at the rest of the world like, I need to find this person, right? Or it's you trying to sneak away and get caught in the middle of it. One, two. It, it, it honestly can be either or. Very, very interesting, Scorpio. It's like, either you're dealing with an earth sign, uh, earth sign, air sign who's looking for stuff and will definitely come for a battle. Or this is you. One of the two. Alright. Sagittarius, let's see what's going up with you. What do you discover during this moon? Name of the moon Alpine is here. I'm sorry. That's like a Sailor Moon reference. And oh, the sleeps just hit me. Fuck. The sleepies just hit me. <laughs> like, I was just fine, and then all of a sudden I just got sleepy. Whoa. Well, this calls for fucking coffee, then. I'll wait till this is done. I already, like, messed up so much already. Sag! Oh, you don't like what world is up. Um. Oh, Sagittarius. Okay. Look at right. I feel like you're looking at what is and is not. Like, air and land are two different animals. They can coexist. But they can't have babies together. You know? Like, it's what. Like, the meshing. Like, you can get along, but you can't mesh. having a hard time realizing what this small world actually is. It's like you're trying to mesh two different fucking animals together in order to create the perfectly weird cup floating face lady for you that you can worship and such. Right? But that will kill your soul. 
like, mmm, Sagittarius, this lunar moon, really kind of, I think, opens your eyes, because this is your card and your third eye is open in this picture. It's like you take the t patience to realize that this world is warped in comparison to the rest of the world. It just took you some time to actually look it over and realize what it was you were possibly feeding into that made you think that like a bird and a lion could have babies. A lion. Or a legal. Or a leon gall. Or, or would it just be a sea lion? Would it be a sea lion? Just basically a seagull and a lion, so it would be a seal. Okay, yeah, they don't have sea lion babies, but not the kind of sea lions that actually exist. Ones that are actually like photoshopped or whatever. But I think that like somewhere along the way, you actually look at this and take the time to realize, hmm, maybe something here is just not kosher, right? You know. Uh, there might even be a chance that you might be ignoring your intuition. You're just now picking that up. Capricorn! What's your three card message? Since this is an awesome. Are we boned or are we? <laughs> it's like those are that those hard hitting questions, kids. Hard hitting questions. Someone's what? Uh, who are you looking for? Is that you? Okay, wait. Mmm. Special delivery. Special delivery. Okay. Ooh, this is like releasing self, almost, because nobody's paying attention. And death's card. Wait, what? Okay, I'm cheating. I know. I only said three, but still, I cap. What is it? Wow. You're gonna release yourself and you're gonna let everything fucking suffer and die. That's the spirit. You're tired of being everybody's fool. You know, everybody plays the fool. But we're done, so we ain't doing that no more. Oh yeah. Okay, so someone's gonna be looking for you. But it's like, new cycle. And... Releasing guard. Like, not holding your guard up anymore. It's like whoever or whatever you were looking for never showed up or they were looking for you and that just helped kickstart a brand new cycle for you. It's just like no one's there. You can let your guard down now in this new cycle. Because before, it seems like, because this feels like this would be more of something else. It's like you could easily be tempted back to this sort of like relationship right here or whatever. But it'd be like living in a loop. You'd just be doing the same shit. There's a temptress tempting you to let your guard down even more. And you might do it and go for this loop. And be back to where, like, the bitch lives in the water and shit. But that'll hinder your new cycle. So I guess it's like, where are you going to offer your, your pentacle to? You know? Okay, Aquarius, what's your three-card message, please? Okay. Sound like a fucking child today. I don't know why. But it's happening. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Okay. I feel like this is a kickstart to something. Yeah, okay. You're you're just you're done with whoever it is. Like you're actually dumping out the third or the thirtieth story window instead of the 20th because it's like, uh, oh, I need to announce who is, um, going to get the bonuses, shouldn't I? I just can never, I never remember to do it when I, I need to. Jesus Christ. Oh, I've been on this phone for an hour. Holy crap. Anyway, anywho, anyhow. Now, it, it seems like Aquarius... You are ready for something new. You're ready to kickstart today. There was unfairness played out. Third party situation that didn't end the way it was supposed to. 
look at all these Bettys. Like, it'll definitely lead to a separation somewhere. Like, someone did not give up their Bettys. It's almost like someone refused to give up their Bettys, right? Hmm. Like, it would have been disastrous if you kept dealing with somebody who is, like, I feel like extremely greedy and it bit him in the ass. I almost feel like you want to poison that, but that's not a good idea. Don't do that. Please don't do that. I don't think you would. But I don't know. It's like they're, they're tower over this town like a god. You know, just for whatever reason. Hmm. Okay, all right, I got the number. Sorry, I had to look really quick. It takes forever to figure out anything on your phone for YouTube. Like, I just don't have a button that says my channel. Like, that would be so much simpler. I have it for trending, and I don't need trending. I don't look at trending. Pisces, your three-card message, right? Your last one, and then we'll see what last message is. Thrixum, or the universe, or source, or God, or spirit, or whatever you call it, we'll have for you. Mention, sorry. Let's see. Dude. Pisces. Ooh. I think you're getting some courage somewhere. Ooh. Someone might have felt like okay, this moon revealed like so like someone might have not it's even an eclipse too. Look at that, but it's a solar eclipse. It's like someone during a solar eclipse didn't get the idea that they were doing shit to themselves. We got Libra and Leo, right, in Virgo. These are all like, um... Damn, Pisces. Okay. Um, there was some fairness here where someone was, I think, terrified but stood up to somebody despite the fact they really didn't know what they were looking at or what to do. Might still feel a little bit depressed about how things went down. Bitch might have got her hand bit off like Tyr did with uh, Fenrir. Justice went out the window. This person is looking back on all of this after a ragged, harsh journey. Realizing with the moon behind him, you know, during the daylight, something didn't feel right. Like I said, someone was focused on what they thought what justice was. When it came to somebody they were scared of, but they stood up to them. Not really looking inside to see what was actually going on. And I think that's like, they f almost feel like they bit their own head off. And really didn't understand justice. Like, you know, justice is not fairness. And vice versa, you know. Just because something is just does not make it fair. And just because something is fair does not make it just. You know, like it's like if someone were to like murder somebody, it, it wouldn't make it fair. I mean, it could be just if you think of the death penalty, but it wouldn't be fair to just murder somebody like that. I mean, it, well, actually, yeah, it would be fair, but it wouldn't be just, right? And there's a difference, and I think someone is like throwing justice out because it's like, mm, this person might have realized this Pisces. So what kind of ending message can we give to Collective for the Lunar Eclipse? Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Five of Cups, Four of Cups. Four of Pentacles reverse. With the Knight of Pentacles reverse right here. Okay, so let's see. This person has like there might be insecurities for some of you. That you are scanning over as you come to decisions, right? Like you've had all these pentacles alone, but you're still possibly 
mourning over some shit, which you're taking into account right here. You're looking over all of this. You're realizing where your insecurities have been based in. I think you were possibly expecting, like, another cut somewhere along the way, and it did not come, so now it's time to make a choice. Do you hang on to this world that you've had, or do you explore the world that's beyond you? That's what you're going to have to possibly deal with during this lunar eclipse, or at least right after it. it, it it's it, it's crunch time. We get to all make decisions and shit. Yeah. Um, also, I feel like... Well, hold on. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. Um, things did not work out before, and you're ready to just get settled. We got the Queen of Pentacles, but someone needs to get settled. Someone needs to get a white dog and enjoy their old age, and someone's definitely thinking of their future in this sense. Things did not work out the way you wanted them to.